Good morning, everybody. Today is January 3rd of 2023, and I just wanted to be able to give you an update on Jennifer's uh, progress. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, there's been a lot of things that have happened um, with her being transferred from one location to another, um, to uh, getting different things taken care of, um, things not being taken care of. And so I just, uh, <clears throat> my wife, Jennifer, she's been posting on Facebook to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on. But it really, it, it's just been a, I mean, ultimately right now, I'm very happy with what has happened, but it's just been a nightmare. Um, what we're finding out is is that uh, UC Davis originally, when they, um, how do I how do I say this? I'm a lot more educated than I was three months ago when this happened. Um, UC Davis did a really good job about being able to save Jenny's life, um, but then came the time where they said, oh well. Now, whether for whatever reason they didn't want to accept the amount of money that the insurance company was paying or the insurance company wasn't going to pay or whatever, uh, they convinced me to move her to an acute care uh, facility uh, in Folsom, California, where they did, um, I'm going to say at best, an okay job, but they sent her there um, with uh, with her feeding tube in and she still had the kidney drain in and um, and of course she didn't have her skull cap on and so uh, we managed to at least get one appointment uh, for her arm of all things because um, she had to have all that work done to her arm and it was a follow-up uh, with a surgeon there and they had transported her there without her helmet and of course she didn't have a skull cap so if they were if something would have happened she probably would have died so he told me he's like Scott you've got to be able to get her skull cap back on and I said I am trying as hard as I possibly can but I can't get anywhere with UC Davis and he says well we'll make that happen he goes I'll make that happen so a day later he actually got um, UC Davis to go ahead and start scheduling everything and and um, on the 14th of December we got her pre-op uh, stuff and then she just on the 29th of December she finally got her skull cap on um, there's a lot of things that I've learned guys uh, that I just never thought could be humanly possible in the healthcare system um, after she was in Vibra I mean because let me back up just a hair so once she was moved to Vibra um, her their whole purpose was to get her off of the tracheotomy well, they really didn't do a very good job of doing it themselves. Jennifer just got tired of it and she yanked it out of her own throat. And um, so it healed, it has healed now. Um, but, uh, you know, they didn't do it, she did it. Um, and like I've been telling everybody on Facebook that Jenny's making baby steps. You know, so she's like an infant with a little bit of knowledge. And so she knows that certain things aren't right. And so she's trying to do the best she can. And so anyway, um, they transferred her after 30 days. They transferred her to another facility in Roseville. And they were not told, the Roseville facility was not told all of the things that Jenny needed. And... Um, and so after talking to them, and the biggest one was that they were having to put her in a bed that did not have side rails. And Jenny moves all over the place, and without a skull cap, she could have fell out. So the facility agreed with me, and they went ahead and they forced the hand and pushed to, uh, they just actually called an ambulance and made um, Sutter Hospital in Roseville take her, uh, which then was a living nightmare because every day they wanted her out every day they just they couldn't get her out fast enough so anyway um, when we finally got her transferred over to uh, UC back to UC Davis um, let's see here sorry about that when we got her transferred back to UC Davis uh, for the skull cap 
um, her skull cap procedure went really, really well. Um, Jenny's, uh, she's starting to look more like Jenny again. And already, like the surgeon had told me that she's going to be able to think and function better. And she is already. Um, she's making leaps and bounds uh, uh, progress going forward right this minute. And, um, and so we're just hoping that, you know, that will continue. Uh, the, the drain tube that is in her, her uh, kidney, um, that ball got completely dropped. Um, the, when she was in the other hospital, they just left the tube in and then they said, oh, hey, it's dried up. It must be okay. And, um, when she got over to the regular hospital, she had an infection and they had to pull it out because it had dried up it had gotten it had gotten plugged and then the tubing got dried up so they had to go back in and redrain redo it and now the drain is just training and i and i asked i asked the doctors well, what's going on with that and they said well it'll continue to drain like this forever it's right in the in the um, in the urine tract so i told uc davis this time around I said, so you're gonna fix this before she leaves so anyway guys um it, like i said it's just been a it's been more of a money type situation right she, i mean she has insurance um but they're all playing what do you call it, the game you know that uh, this is covered that's not covered uh, you know and so th this is what's been this is a nightmare um and i'm always just having to constantly be checking on them and making sure that they're not trying to get her to go do this or to go do that, um, you know, but, um, but anyway, I, I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, she is doing better. And when I say better, she's awake. She can, like last time I told you, she can only track to one side of her body as far as her eyes. She can move her head now. She can, she can track both ways. Uh, she understands that she, her name is being called. She looks that, that way to you. Um, and the last night we tried something because like I said, it's just been one thing after another. So we tried different things. And yesterday we put up some flashcards. Um, the flashcards were like, you know, a pig and a sheep or a dog and a cat and that type of thing. And we put them up there and, and I put two up there and I said, which one is the cat or which one is the dog or whatever. And we tested her seven times and she got six out of the seven correct. And um, so it, it's it's starting. It, it, the, the recovery is starting, finally. Um, her arm is physically back together. Um, it, she's not moving it much. She can, but she just has not. Same thing with her, her uh, right leg, uh, same thing. She moves her left side of her body really, really well. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue. I know it'll just continue to get better as, as she gets, as she's going, right? I mean, you're, she had the surgery on the 29th and today's the third and I'm talking about what happened on the second. So, you know, only a few days and things are starting to come back to her. So I'm praying that it continues. And one other thing I want to tell you guys, uh, and then I'll, I'll let this go cause it's been about nine minutes now. Um, is that there has been six accidents, including Jenny's, in the exact same spot since Jenny got hurt. She got hurt September 22nd of 2022. And the most latest accident, the sixth one, was on the 20, 28th, I believe it was, um, 28th or 29th of December. Um, I'm, I'm doing everything I possibly can do. Um, I've been trying to talk to uh, Jennifer's attorney. I've been trying to talk to different people to see what I can and can't do. And, and uh, you know, Caltrans has just got, they've just stuck their head in the sand. And, uh, you know, there's ever since 2010, this has been going on. And um, they just don't want to do anything about it. And um, what I've found is, is that they're, they're kind of playing a game. And the game is basically, there's an at the same intersection, it's Highway 70, 
Well, one side of the freeway, it's Kempton Road. On the other side of the freeway, it's Berry Road. It's the exact same intersection. But if you split the load down, where the accident's over here and there's an accident over here, right? It doesn't look so bad, at least on paper anyway. So anyway, um, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're getting there. Um, but it's it's just been a long road. So anyway, guys... Um, but on an up note, she's doing she's doing better, and, and I'm happy. So I just wanted to fill you in on all the things that I've had to deal with here lately. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, again, um, I know I've released some videos, a few different videos, and I appreciate you guys watching them. I've got more that I had already done, and I'll just you know I'll release them. I try to release them on Fridays, and I will try to do a better job about keeping you guys all up um, up to date on what's going on with Jen. Hopefully now um, that she's not physically, she's not physically damaged. She's got a little hat over her, like a little little hoodie over her head, um, while everything's while everything's healing. But uh, she she looks better, and for her privacy, I, that's why I didn't post any pictures, because I didn't want her to be seen the way she was. You know, when she gets better and she wants to she wants to post pictures, then that's up to her. Um, but now now she's she looks human again and so you know um we'll we'll probably go ahead and we'll post some of her videos now because it's you know she's she's doing some really cool things i mean she's now feeding herself with ice uh she's had a brought her a starbucks and she actually drank some starbucks out of the straw herself um so anyway guys uh yeah she's been she's she's doing a lot better i apologize my was getting ready to edit my this video and uh Realize that it the camera just shut off on me. Um, so, but the main reason I'm just continuing it on here real quick is I just want to thank everybody for all of the stuff that you guys have done. Um, you guys, there's so many of you that have donated, uh, so many of you that have sent sent different things in the mail, you know, um, stuffed animals, cards. Uh, so so much stuff so much stuff uh the the car shows we've had a few different car shows and fundraisers that, that we've done and that was that was awesome too but uh you know i just want to i just want to thank you guys all for everything um and so i will try to do my best to keep you guys updated i know i'm not the best at it i, I just get consumed with all the other stuff and then it seems like oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and i don't um, but, uh, I just, I just want to thank you guys all for your prayers. All of you that have come to visit Jennifer, um, you know, because she was part of our Corvette world. She was going to those car shows. She was doing all the things. She was on some of my videos and some of you have reached out. You guys have gone to see her in the hospital and that really means a lot. So Anyway, uh, guys, I'm just going to cut it as short as I can here. I just want to tell you guys all thank you. And we'll we'll keep you updated. And uh, now that she's starting to look like a, a human being again, um, you know, I, and she, she won't mind her pictures the way it is now. But before, it just... It, it wasn't uh, it wasn't good to, uh, for her stuff to be seen like that. I didn't want her kids to see her like that. And um, so anyway, um, enough of that. Just want to tell you guys all thank you. Thank you guys again for watching my channel. Uh, it means a lot. And uh, I'm going to try to re-engage uh, with the channel more and get that going again. Um, because it, what I found is that it is a little therapeutic for me. It's the one thing in my life that I can kind of control right now. So, um, so anyway, guys, again, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later, okay?